Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So Monday means it's Modern Monday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and we have a super spicy list to check out today. So this is Tallow Wisp. A sweet enchantment, combo-y, aggro-y, prison-y deck. It's got a lot going on. It's a really unique deck. And it comes from Shoei Tasunuki, who took it to an undefeated finish in the infamous small Japanese tournament. So congrats to Shoei on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break down the deck. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, Talowisp is built around a card by the name of, you guessed it, Talowisp. So this is a really unique spirit from back in Kamigawa Black. Two mana, you get a 1-3, not super exciting, but it has an ability where whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, you can search your library for an enchant creature card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. And if you do, you get to shuffle your library. So basically, whenever you cast a spirit or arcane, you get to tutor and aura enchantment out of your library. So the deck basically comes in three parts. We have spirits <laughs> that are our beatdown plan and also trigger Talowisp to allow us to get auras. We have auras that we get when we cast our spirits to put on our spirits, and then we even have some arcane spells for just additional value. So let's start by looking at the spirits, and the basic theme of our spirits is resilient. These are all like the hardest to kill spirits that are available in modern. So Gloom Surgeon, only a one of two drop. All damage to it is prevented, so it's really hard to kill. It still dies to Path to Exile, but it's not going to die to Lightning Bolt, not going to die in combat. Drug Skull Captain isn't much on its own. However, if you can get two of them down, you essentially have the Hexproof lock, where each of them is pumping each other and giving them Hexproof. And then Geist of St. Draft is a classic aura-wearing creature because it has Hexproof and it's super aggressive. So basically, whenever we cast these with a Telewisp out, we're not only getting a pretty resilient creature, but we're also tutoring up an aura to put on our creature. So what are we tutoring up? Well, we have a couple of different themes. First off, Clout of the Dominus in Eel Umbra are to protect our creature. So let's say we play a Drog Skull Captain. We're worried about our opponent killing it. So with our Talowisp trigger, we tutor up a Eel Umbra, which is a Flash Umbra that has totem armor. So the first time our creature would be destroyed, instead, the Umbra is removed. Which means if our opponent tries to bolt our Drog Skull Captain, we give it protection. Uh, Cloud of the Dominus just straight up gives any of our non Gloom Surgeon creatures, and not Tail Wisp either, uh, gives it Shroud, so it's going to be hard to kill with target removal. Then we have some aggressive auras, and these are the ones that let us close out the game really quickly. Steel of the Godhead is insane on Geist of St. Traff, since it's white and blue, it makes our Geist into a 4 4 unblockable lifelinker, so it's attacking for 8 and can't be blocked. And Angelic Destiny, kind of the same deal. It gives one of our creatures flying, so you put this on a Geist, you're attacking for 10 in the air, it also has First Strike, so really powerful, aggressive auras. And then we have some removal auras as well. Crystallization, basically a multicolored pacifism, except if the creature becomes targeted, it gets exiled instead, so it's got a little Path to Exile in it. And Path to Exile itself is in the deck, of course, not tutorable with our Talo Wisp, but an additional removal spell. So Talowisp, Spirits, Auras to search up with Talowisp, put on our Spirits. Last part of the main deck is the Arcane Spells. So Reach Through Mist is really crazy in this deck. It looks weird because it does nothing. It's one blue mana, you draw a card. So it just cantrips for one mana. It is an Arcane Spell though. So in our deck, it's one blue mana as an instant. Search your library for an aura if we have a Talowisp out. And since we have some flash auras like the Eel Umbra, this can be a card that actually pr helps protect our creatures, lets us tutor up our Steel of the Godhead to get aggro, whatever we need. Shining Shoal is sort of removal. It also prevents damage. We can cast it for free by exiling white cards. And Disrupting Shoal is like the world's worst force of will. But both of the Shoals are way better in our deck than most decks because they're also allowing us to tutor up those auras and further our game plan. 
The last few cards in the main deck, Lingering Souls, only a one of, basically a combo with Drog Skull Captain, pumps up all the Lingering Souls tokens, makes them huge threats, and then a single Worship that takes advantage of our Hexproof creatures to maybe steal a game. In the mana base, Vault of the Archangel is the only really exciting land, gives all of our stuff life, Flink and Death Touch, makes it hard to block, helps us win the race, some fetch lands, some shock lands, some random duels, including Cavern of Souls, which takes advantage of the fact that all of our creatures are spirits, and then some basic lands. In the sideboard, a couple more auras to search up. Spirit Away is insanely expensive at 7 mana, but if the game's gonna go really long, it lets us steal one of our opponent's creatures and turn it into a massive flyer. Prison Term for more removal. Then we have some spirits as well that do other things, so in a matchup against Affinity, we bring in Kataki. It's still allowing us to tutor up our auras since it's a spirit. Also hating on artifacts, Kami hates on enchantments, Stony Silence, Etherstone Cannon is Torpor Orb and Surgical Extraction are basically just targeted hate. Silence for Affinity and Tron, Cannonist for Storm, Torpor Orb for creature based combo decks, Surgical Extraction for graveyards, and then we have the rest of the worships in the sideboard so if we want to and our opponent's not expecting it we can sideboard into a full-on worship lock deck and just try to protect our hexproof creatures with our auras get a worship down and make it really hard to actually lose the game and then one more lingering souls and that is talowisp for modern and that's been our instant deck deck for today so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.